Hello and welcome back to another edition of Grandma's Cookbook. For this week we're doing something I'm very much looking forward to. Sour cream coffee cake. I don't particularly remember if I've ever had this. Might have. Either way, I like coffee cake. We'll see if this one's any good on this week's edition of Grandma's Cookbook. First thing we're going to have to do is make the nut filling, which the recipe states, in a small bowl, combine one and a quarter cups of chopped walnuts, three-fourths of a cup of firmly packed dark brown sugar, and one teaspoon of cinnamon. Mix well and then set aside. With that setting aside, we are going to make the cake part, which states in a medium bowl, sift together three cups of flour, one tablespoon of baking powder, one and one half teaspoon of baking soda, and one half teaspoon of salt. Once those dry ingredients have been mixed together thoroughly, we will set those aside. And now we're going to start with the wet ingredients. In a larger bowl with electric mixer on low speed or with a wooden spoon, you will beat together one and one half cups of sugar and three eggs until well blended. Once well blendedness has been achieved, you will beat in one and one half teaspoon of vanilla, 16 ounces of sour cream. Once all of that has been mixed into the other well blended mixture, you will add half of the dry ingredients and mix those with the electric blender. Once that has been mixed in well enough, you will put in the rest and then fold it in with a wooden spoon or spatula. Next, you will take your nine inch greased tube pan, put in what you think is half of the batter, then you'll put in half of the brown sugar nut mixture, and then the rest of the batter, which should have been half, but as you can clearly tell, I guessed wrong. And then once that batter's on top, you put the rest of the nut batter on there. Then you will take a little knife, cut into it to help marble the coffee cake a little bit. Throw it in an oven, preheated to 325 for 65 to 70 minutes. And there you go. Sour cream coffee cake. Now you're going to want to let this cool as best you can before you actually eat it. You know, take it out of the tube pan, put it on a wire rack, let it cool, and then dig in. How's the taste? This one's really good. Um, again, Grandma really liked walnuts. This might be a little too much walnut. Maybe cut back a quarter of a cup, maybe even half a cup. But yeah, I would very much recommend you make this sour cream coffee cake. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you next week on another edition of Grandma's Cookbook.